So in today's application, what we are trying to do is to set up a Siemens RD200 digital display to talk to a pressure transmitter that's generating a 4 to 20 milliamp output. In our case, we don't actually have the pressure transmitter here, but we have a fluke meter that will be simulating the 4 to 20 milliamp output. So the first thing that we want to do is to set up the RD200 to actually accept an input from a transmitter. It can take inputs from RTDs, thermocouples, voltage inputs. Uh, we're going to set it up to take a 4 to 20 milliamp input. So we're going to press the menu key. We're going to press the enter key. And you see it says input. We're going to press the enter key again. And you see it comes up as a 4 to 20 right now, but my other options are a 0 to 10 volt signal, an RTD, or a thermocouple. But I'm going to leave it at uh, 4 to 20 because that's what the transmitter will be generating. So I press enter. Um, if I wanted to set a decimal point in the, on the display, I would go to this menu, and you can see I've got three digits, a decimal point, and then another digit. Okay, I'm done with that part of it. I hit the menu key. Uh, the next step is to actually scale the display. The display can, can read whatever you want. In our application, the pressure transmitter is going to be a 4 to 20 milliamp signal scaled across 0 to 100 inches of water. So let's set the, let's set the display to read 0 to 100, 0 being at the 4 milliamp level. 100 being at the, uh, the 100 inch level or the 20 milliamp value. So I press the menu key, I go to setup, I go to program mode by pressing the up arrow, I hit enter, you see it now says scaling. This is input number one and you can see this is where the 4 milliamp value will be. I'll hit enter again and again, and you can see the number is 250. Well, that's not what I want. So I'm at the most significant digit. I'll just hit the arrow, up arrow key, change that to zero, cursor over, change that to zero. And so now, basically, this value is uh, zero is the value I'll get on the display when I'm receiving four milliamps. I'll hit enter. Uh, input number two, and this is the value at 20 milliamps. Input signal number two, and you can see it's set at 100. In our case, we wanted to change it, excuse me, it's set at 400. In our case, we'll change it to 100. So now it's set at 100. I'll hit enter, and, and it immediately goes back into the run mode. You can see over here on the fluke meter, I'm inputting it at uh, 0 milliamps. Let's change that to 4 milliamps. And you can see the display reads 0. I'll increment it up to 8 milliamps, and the display reads 25. 12 milliamps, the display reads 50. 16 milliamps, the display reads 75. And at 20 milliamps, the display reads 100, which is what we're looking for. So that's all there is to it. Very easy to do. Thank you for watching. Okay, are we done? Hey, I, I never finished reading the manual. What, is, what does this button do over here? It wasn't in the manual.